Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Byzantine Empire with me, Mordaz the Red. So, as, as uh, you may recall, we, in the last episode, we, f we divorced our wife because she was cheating on us. So, we divorced her, obviously. And then we uh, imprisoned her lover, threw him in the oubliette, and revoked his duchy. So he no longer has that. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we did get remarried. We have this lovely woman, uh, Basila Rachtil, Hilt. Someone who speaks Greek could probably pronounce no or Frank, Frankish, whatever in heck that is, which I think is French or German, something around there. Someone probably probably cannot pronounce it better. But what are we going to do today? Oh, we're going to unpause it and let time click by. Ah, as requested, a lower rank vessel should be should be directed to him. Who do you think? You you think you think somebody should be talking to you when you should be talking to me? You think? I I don't know why I just went into that dude. Uh, let's see. All right, de jure, you belong to that, which belongs to him. Okay. I can impress him with fake promises. You can have a vassal for a favor. I think that's what we will do. Favors are good. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see. What can favors be used? Make someone like like you on the council a lot. Someone vote, vote like you. Prevent force prevent or force realm peace from your liege ask ask your liege to press one of your claims in war start start a law vote force acceptance of several things force someone to join your faction you lead force someone to give you a council well he owes me a favor so there's lots of stuff but you know what we're going to do we're going to let's look at all the people all of our vassals. And what we're going to do, since everybody kind of likes us, except for this dude, but we don't care. He's the guy that uh, fucked our wife. So we're going to just start inviting people to carousing. We're going to start carousing. Where's carousing? Carousing, carousing. Oh, it's Jimmy. Oh, why can't we invite him? Maximus. Oh, he's busy. Invite him to carousing. Invite to carousing. Yeah, this is going to take a bit. Doopy doop. Doopy doop. You know what? We're going to do this one. Invite to characters. My realm. Men. Who. Any. Any. Yes. So. Any, any, any. Let's see. I think I've already invited one of these. Oh. Is he leading my troops? If he's leading my troops, I can Let's see. Resign. We only need to get there. So. I am going to have to uh, make some keyboard shortcuts or something. Help speed up this process because this is going to take bloody forever. Uh, let's look here. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, there we go. 
Well, I think we're going back to this simply for the fact that it's a little easier. I don't know why I can't invite invite him to carousing, but whatever. Probably the guy I just clicked on. Curious, I just saw that. Renegotiate. Hmm. Well, I can't invite him to that, so I'm gonna send this because I don't know what this what this does. Let's form a non aggression pact. He's still a vassal, so I'm not terribly concerned. Frankly, half the reason I'm very much fine with them uh, infighting is it makes it a lot easier to uh, deal with while they're infighting. I can let them, they usually don't have their eyes turned towards your spot. So we don't have to worry about them a whole bunch. Couple of rebellions going on. Ah, just to invite the ecumenical patriarch, the Orthodox Pope, or the iconoclastic Pope. Invite to cross. Got a question? I'm pro. <laughs> I can do some very awful things to this man. I'm not going to right away. I want to do some carousing first. Because we gotta get that achievement. Gotta get that achievement of hedonist. Oh, I'm just gonna invite a couple more. Actually, I'm gonna look and see who we've got the lowest opinion with. Let's see if we can invite him. Nope, can we invite him? Yes! We can invite can we invite this dude? Nope. All right, so let's click down a little bit. Oh, let's see if we invite this dude. He, he actually kind of likes me. I think we've invited just about everybody. Yeah, so we're just going on pause. We got some ducats. That's some major bank ducats going on. Yay! Post me a favor. Awesome prestige. Yay, lose some prestige. Lose some prestige. Lose prestige. Yay. Lose prestige. Lose prestige. Lose prestige. Yay. Lose prestige. Lose prestige. Yay. Yay. Lose prestige. Yay. 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 Lose a little prestige. Yay. Thank you. One thing I saw saw in uh, Arumba's Conclave video uh, that he's doing with a couple of his buds uh, is the wonder if those favors do transfer over. That will be interesting to find out. See if like your father, your father's father, father owed me a fa owed my father's father's father a favor. I am now calling it him. I wonder. Oh, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, stop trying to kill each other. I don't really want to imprison you because I'd have to move troops there and I really don't want to do that. Yay, let's start carousing. Woo! 
Ooh, a son was born. We're all name him Constan. Actually, no, we're all name him Stan. Stan the man. Is he good? Not really. So, let's give him a focus. Let's give him a thrifty focus. You're my, you're my best friend, man. Who's this dude? He's my, va he's one of my vassals. Oh, he's the guy from way over here. I'll eventually make that duchy. Ah, uh, back to real life. Did get Carouser, which is cool. Got some important decisions to make. Uh, I can't really do any of that. I hold a grand tournament. What's this? Ah, uh, you. Pi Why did you piss him off? What? Dang it, man! Pissed off a whole bunch of dudes. Oh, you pissed off. Pissed off him, but he likes me. So I'm not terribly concerned. He likes me. You pissed yourself off. What the hell, man? <laughs> You're angry at me. <laughs> I was trying to get some money out, and you made me angry. <laughs> Local revolt rest buds in one of my major provinces. I got troops sitting on there, so I'm not really concerned. It's not all that high. But we'll let time click by. Let our levy guys thinking we've raised our levies for too long. Ah, oh, you guys again? Okay, all right. Hold on, what's my spy master doing? My spy master. Why? Stop leading troops. You were not allowed to lead troops. You were on my council. You were not allowed to lead troops. And I'm actually going to send you. Let's see. I need you to scheme. I need you to discourage people from joining factions. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to send you here. Because. I want you to stop having people join factions, so... Come on over here. <laughs> you're not even part of this faction, I don't think. If you are, it'll be kind of funny. No, you're not part of the faction. It's not that I can see. No, bald-headed. Constinius. No. Nope. You are not actually part of this, so... You convincing him is actually pretty good, and you know what? I'm gonna bribe you so you like me more and you work even harder. I don't know if that actually does anything. I just do it because I like him. And he's got pretty decent intrigue, so. And build a little bit of a war chest for him. So. I probably should enforce realm peace. Ah, stop converting stuff. So we got some iconoclastic here. We still got some orthodox. I'm curious, is there any any orthodox elsewhere? No. Just some little little stuff here and there. Ah you crazy man. Let's see. They're completely out. Now we can gain piety or lose piety. And we can hurt the crap out of this dude. It's a lowborn dude. The question is, do we want more piety? If I remember correctly, we do because we want to form some uh, form Dutch duchies and kingdoms. Can't create that one. That's because we need piety. We don't have we don't have enough piety, so we're gonna resist our foul impulses. Not hurt him. As tempting as it is, we're not. So. Let's see. Uh, no. We're just gonna banish this dude. Get out of here. Uh, we're gonna release some of these women because we don't need them in here. Can't get any money for him. The only guy that stays there is this guy because we want him to die. He's stressed, which means minus one health. And he's in the Uble, which means he's got minus two health. I'll leave that son of a bitch in there. You don't get to fudge my wife. I do apologize for the previous cursing. I'm probably going to curse a lot in this. Not majorly, but enough. 
Once this is gone, we're going to go attack something for something we de sure claim. <sighs> More Iconoclasts. Uh, let's see if there's... Let's see. What time of year since beginning of February? Yay, finally built stuff. Uh, more people in prison. That's okay. Do do do. Cool. Mm, it's good to see that's not not keeping up. So, we we'll probably hold a summer fair here in a moment. Beginning of May. We'll hold a summer fair. Let's hold a summer fair. Let's make the peasants happy. Oh, I'm curious. What is de jure ours? Let's look at empires. Byzantine Empire. De jure ours. So, I have a feeling we're going to declare war on this son of a gun next. De jure claims. I forgot we can make things tributaries now. Which is great. To sure claim there, to sure claim there, to sure, to sure, to sure, to sure, to sure. So, how about you? Declare war on you. Lots of de sure claims. Actually, we may may declare that war here pretty soon. So, for someone's to sure claim. That would be cool. Yay, jesters! But, ah, the jester who performed during the su summer fair ran around in silly hats with bells. Before I knew it, he hit me with his bubble. Everyone laughed at his jokes, or rather his insults. Peasants are upset, local revolt risk. Throw him in the prison! I think that's probably because I'm cruel I threw him in there. If I remember correctly, you don't really, you cannot have an option not to. Count Theodora is very, very inquisitive and asked lots of questions about my iconoclastic faith and Jesus. I was happy to talk to him about, about my religion with a non-judgmental man and answered all of his questions as good as I could. Thank you for not judging my religion, Count Theodorico. It's great. I'm just curious. His name's Theodorico. What is his... He's a Visigoth. Yay, my wife. Ah, oh, son of a gun. <sighs> One thing the NPCs like to do is sleep around. Let's find out. Huh. The peddlers are loading their wares and merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers strolling... Jugglers, strolling players, and the other entertainers are, under, entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. It was great fun while it lasted. In the meantime, yeah, we're not going to do that. And everybody's no longer pissed off about me raising vassals, so we're going to declare on this son of a gun. Declare war. We're actually going to fight for this guy's claim on it, so that's great. Council votes yes. 2-4, two, 5-4, two, two against. Great. Cool. That's interesting. That's, this is new. You actually have to vote. For me, I have to vote. Now I get a vote. So they're not happy because they're glory hounds. They want me to attack somebody bigger like the Abbasids. And I'm like, you're idiots. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to fight that. So do that. You know what? Can we declare war on this guy? Should we declare war? Everybody wants this war. So. Actually, let's take a look. Oh, he's only got 2,000 men. 2,000 men from... Yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, this guy's definitely worth attacking. Declare war. Let's... What's this... Province Turfino. Or we could Holy War. But that'll bring in Tengris from these guys. 
But I want to start moving. We got we got to start we got to start getting some client getting some stuff in. So you know, we're just going to start making our borders neat. So declare that war. So let's raise up our armies. Oh, that's great. It's like, let's raise up our armies. Right there. So we're going to move them there. Move all of them there. Can't really get them out yet, so we'll just save them. We'll take all of these guys. Let's march, march, march. Actually, you know what? Uh, we'll put these down. But, you know what? It's been 20 odd minutes, so I think we're done for the day. You know what we're doing next one? We're, t we're fighting Bulgaria and Russia. Something like that. We're going to attack them, take back our land, start forming the Roman borders as they should. After we're done attacking them at some point, we're going to attack more of this stuff, take more of it back. Our biggest concern, to be honest, is the Abbasids. But we've been going for too long. So, again, as always, comment, criticize in the, in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.